Hey guys, so got a new lesson for you. As you can tell today, we're talking about V-necks. And I'm really, I'm going to advocate strongly today because I used to wear V-necks. It was a long lost time, but yes, I'm glad I found the light and I'm no longer on that team anymore. But yes, I used to wear V-necks, right? Why do we dislike V-necks? But more specifically, it's I don't think it's that we dislike V-necks. Why do we dislike people who wear V-necks, right? And that's what we're here to break down. V-necks are, they're daring, right? Because when you wear a V-neck, you can fall on two sides of one coin, right? One being, I'm getting and I'm proud. Or another one being, I unironically use the word alpha and beta in my everyday vocabulary. And my favorite YouTuber is Alpha M, right? You can, you're going to be one of the two when you wear a V-neck, right? So you're going to have to choose one. And it might be different. But remember, it's a scale. So you might fall in the middle. You might fall on one side. You might fall on another side. Today, we're going to go over the mind of people who wear V-necks. Why? They wear V-necks, right? Like, what made you come out the house with that on, right? What is going on up here that made you think, I'm not with the regular caller. I'm V. People who wear V-necks, they only represent two things, right? One guy that might wear V-necks, he's going to represent the LGBTQ, right? That's like another version of their flag. You see him with a V-neck, you know he stands with you, right? But then we got the same, another guy, he might put that V-neck on, but he's not with you guys. He actually strongly advocates against you guys, and he's here to show how alpha I am right so it's like we said earlier it's a scale you're either gonna represent LGBTQ when you put on that v-neck or you're gonna represent your your alphaness some wear it with this in mind and they end up looking like this some wear it with this in mind but they end up looking like that and it's one thing that dictates where they stand. And that one thing is, wait, I'm gonna get it here for you. So as you can see, I have a little something here for you guys, okay? Make sure you write this down, all right? Cause this one is really important, right? So remember how we said, when you wear that V-neck, you're gonna look like two things, right? It's either gonna make you look gay or it's gonna make you look like a alpha, right? So here I have a formula, right? You have length of V squared plus alpha squared equals gay squared, right? So you want to take how long your V neck is, right? With how alpha you look, and then that's going to get you the outcome of how gay you look. So before you put that V neck on, commit to this formula. And then once you found your answer for here, right? You're going to take it and you're going to plot it here. So I do have a video where we go in depth with this graph right here, right? I'm not going to do that in this video because then we'd be here for a long time. So go click that video and you'll see exactly how we use this graph with our real world examples, right? Or, you know, you can come watch me live on Twitch where we solve answers like these all the time. Link in the description. But who would I be? What kind of teacher would I be if I didn't at least provide you with one example, right? So look at this guy right here, right? You can see off rip, look at his LV ratio, right? The length of V neck ratio. That's a really deep fucking V, right? But again, the A, the alpha ratio, remember how well you fit the V neck, right? He fits it really well, right? It's, it's gripping him, right? So we know based off the length of the V, we can tell he's gonna be high up, right? But based off how well he fits in that V neck, we can tell he's gonna be far right. So, and then that's what's gonna give us our answer. So for this guy, <laughs> I think off the length, we're gonna put him like right here, right? Right here, but then, I'm gonna give him sake. We're gonna move him like right here. So 
I think it's good for him to say. He gets to be at like a a comfortable like like right there, right? That's where he will fall on the scale. You know, we can do one more example just so you can say I taught you, right? So when you do see it on your test, don't act confused, right? But like I said, click the other video, you're gonna understand a lot more. But look at this guy. He's a beast. He's a fucking beast. So if we were to take apply him to the same formula here, right? Length of V, just like the guy prior, his is really fucking deep. That's a deep ass V. But if we were to take his A ratio, it's not that strong, right? He doesn't look really mm, in the V-neck compared to the last guy, right? So then that's what's gonna give us our G for how gay he looks, right? So for this guy, if I had to be completely honest with him, when it comes to our Y, I think he's also pretty high, right? We can agree he's pretty high, but when it comes to our X, you, you didn't make it far, buddy. So I think we can all agree he's, I'll put him right there right there i think that is that's perfect for where he goes so hopefully you guys get the idea so remember before you put that v-neck on stick to this ratio and you'll know exactly how you look before you walk out that house so now that we figured out right where one falls once they apply that v-neck onto their body we need to dictate their mindset right the typical person that wears a v-neck what do they do how do they like to have fun? How do they think the way they think? And that's what I have this here for. So as you can see here, I got the LGBTQ side and we got the alpha side. I like this one. Any guy that looks alpha in a V-neck, nine out of 10 times, he uses Axe body spray as his cologne. Like that's his go-to. It doesn't matter his age, he could be 32. He's still spraying that Axe body spray, right? But then on the other side, these guys, they love Dior Sauvage. <laughs> no, no different than a 16 year old first jumping into the world of cologne, right? That's their go-to. But one thing about them too, uh, they swear they're fashion killers. I swear, any guy, any gay guy that wears a V-neck, he swears he's like ASAP Rocky reincarnated. Let me tell you their exact outfit, right? Black V-neck, chinos, CDG Converse. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. But then on the other side, the alpha V-neck guy, oh, they love white women. They love white women. And you're not telling me otherwise, right? Because I've never seen a brother that loves black woman put a V-neck on his body. But how do they like to have fun, right? Where can you catch these guys? You're going to catch them at a pool hall and at least 24 pack of beer, right? Synonymous. Pool and beer. Synonymous. That's their number one way to have fun. Sound like an African dad. But then these guys, you're going to catch my Starbucks. But you're only going to catch them there in the morning, right? You're not going to catch them. I want to say past two, you're not going to catch them at a Starbucks. Really, I want to say from opening till about 11, 12, right? But then you're both going to see them at the club. But where and what they do in the club tells you exactly who they are, right? The LGBTQ V-neck guy, he's going to be at the dance floor. You fucking know it. He's going to be at the dance floor or he's going to be right in front of the DJ booth, right? Nowhere else. But then the alpha V-neck guy, he's going to be at the bar in the club, right? He's going to be in the back talking to some white girl. Some of some, yeah, let me buy you a drink. What you want? Sex on the beach? That's where you're going to catch them. Or if not at the bar, they're still going to be in the back of the club talking to some girl that looks like they're at least 10 years younger than them, at least. So with all that being said and done, right? And make sure you take your notes because, like I said, if you see it on the test, don't say you never taught us this, Mr. Booth. I definitely did, right? So class is about to be over. Go ahead and pack your bags. Hope I taught you guys something new today. And I hope next time any of you decide to put that V-neck on, before you do, you're at least able to tell which side of the shtick 
you belong on. Bye.